get this started. Okay, if you're on defense, Hunter Fee's on attack, and this is so vintage. What we saw in the last time we're going for the straight up A at the beginning. Right up to mid, and that's going to be what they play off of. He can also hide tight towards A. So keep an eye out on that. There's a cascade right Three one in terms of pistols. Hunter Fee's winner. Seems like he might try to re-explore. And one thing I would like to see is that drone be used a little later against this comp. This cop has a lot of footage out for Fury already again, so the anti strats must be prepped here. Whoa. Look at Cryo. What a Whoa. Loony, bro. That's all for the goop. So well done. But Mazine playing around his own utility. That was kind of sick. It's crazy he's able to get out of the smoke, cascade to block the players from defense. Well, we can definitely see the. <laughs> can definitely see some flank. of the prep that they put in. Um, again, they knew this so was going to outside. Haven and not bind. So maybe Just they had the upper PCK. edge for this one. With the Molly. Still a three and three. That's the only thing at play here. Now that dart just gone back up. That should give him a cue that there's definitely something on the flank. It's the frenzy meta right now. Start to see why. Two members of 100 Thieves are weak though. They've just gotten worse. It's way too much for DP to deal with though. Another Four one in terms of pistols. Thieves. Really got some nice pistols going at the moment. So many pistols against Furia. That was a nice XX. I like that a lot. Point in pistol round wins. Actually, they were the second best in the league. And all of a sudden, this down's only been 1-1. One, one. That's four for 100 Thieves. And that's ridiculous from Derek, too. Also, shutting down immediately that defensive side pistol hold from Fury that has been so good for them in the past is super impressive. If they can already convert up to two rounds, you're looking at only needing two gun rounds later on in this half to make it even. The attack side from Fury with this comp has been so rough. You think good at replays, maybe? Rough with the double wall, but Let's it is. See. Speaking of the double wall, there's a different one out. Yeah, in terms of how they're buying this one, we've got two rifles. It's just old FPX. And that was about this is gonna be an, a rifle into the next one. Clear the pockets, oh my uh -oh. <laughs> Timing. A little unlucky there for banging De Derek, yeah. but either way, the alarm bot to cover. Meanwhile, Stella's up in mid, by the way. And we don't have those four rifles. I mean, what is this round? Down. He's right. gotten all the way, Link. Oh, the Stella's timing of that one's a little bit crazy. Respond. But they're going to be going over towards B. By the turret. Turret's down at this point. offline. We start to see some of that spam. QCK. He's going to get a lot here. It's only a oh, frenzy. No. Oh. Not only is it only a frenzy, but he doesn't get the kill either. I was I was thinking no weapon picked up from that, so it's not the biggest deal, but now it is. Now we're gonna see these guys die to the spike. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Still only a frenzy. Yeah, just that frenzy that you were talking about earlier. All right. Cryo has <laughs> we need a replay of that. that Surely not. He put together an excellent map too. He's just continuing to farm map three. So far, the series is plus 18. That's what you want. That's what you want out of Cryo. Very good. And it's hilarious that Fury saved down in sewers there. They really had hey, no other place. Because Hunter Thieves actually hunted them there. And also, those cryo kills, I'm, I'm betting he was like, what? There's another guy behind that guy? <laughs> no <laughs> no in yet. And this is where things start to get very dangerous, but I've really liked the approach so far from 100 Thieves. Especially the way the Bang is using his paranoia. Primed with cryo as well, threatening to dash. All right. Especially Bonus is pretty decent. So we get the three rifles into this. You mentioned no off for DG, no kills either, Flash. but they're going to try to set him up Ooh. for one here. Off of the cascade, That's kind of sick. Flash goes in and it did hit, so this guy's going to stay around for a little bit. The way that Mazin is able to play in I basically say he instantly middle rotates of the map. Off. They cleared so all this in for them. To cover everything. And QCK as well. So much coverage with a Viper wall on A and also his orb in the middle of sight there. He has a couple of different setups that can completely lock down multiple sections of the map at the same time. And then you have the Killjoy utility. Once you manage to navigate past both suffocating walls that are on the defensive side, you still have to deal with that too, so. And by the time Hunter Thieves actually goes for a hit here, Mazin's high tide is going to be back up at about 48 seconds. 
It's back up now. Has a cascade too. Dart in though. There's the wall. GG. I believe he got hit by that paranoia. MW's playing side by himself. Mazina's shown up. Mazina's is helped. And that's Ooh. another kill. I thought TG had him. Last player. running out the smokes. It's just bang. He's got a bulldog. He's healthy too. And it's landed for him. That cove is gonna force the spam out. <laughs> that's a nice patient in there. Nice from here. Hits him from the side. He had no idea. 100 Thieves did enough damage to make this a swing round, though. Two people won't be able to buy an extra round for Fury if they lose. Uh, in the round after. On that so, yeah. This should be a smokes. pretty impactful round here. Obviously the Daniel, the site thank you so much. What do I think of the new Sentinels roster? Job. Yeah, you might as well try everything. I'm down but for it. Let's see what they got. And QCK just runs out. <laughs> thank you for the Prime. Thanks for the five months. I guess assuming... That there's nothing to be followed up 400 thieves out of that. I also have they to got ask, nothing to lose at the moment. Might as well try and work MW out what's best. It felt like it went under his feet. Focus on last chance qualifier. So not converting the bonus. Still though, I mean 100 thieves only needs a few more to make this a good half. And we've seen some very strong attack sides from 100 thieves on this map. Both players shot there, so... Ooh. They knew, they knew Digizin was stuck in that position. They might have ended up going for a trap to get the f dash Will it become a case place. of K-Corp syndrome? Right, nah, time, they should I mean, have... Uh, ones are really nice too, improving from Mazin, allowing sure, they should have a better understanding of, of, of how to make it work then. than what it looked like at the beginning. And also re-allowing Digizin to walk down sewers here too. It's very, very nice. And QCK has worked his way down C. How has he gotten there? Again. They can play around this too. They have such a good setup. Take, oh, that's a massive right kill. Now. This is huge as well in terms of the info here. Rumble's been up the whole time. What? Did he see him? They, they both saw each other there, surely, right? I don't. I think they've either of them saw each other. Oh, okay. Definitely did see him and see the ping. Oh my goodness. Rush is ready. That was DG going for a lot. Yeah, and vision blocked. Quite nice. <laughs> Very nice round from Fury. And they have numbers here, so 3,000 on top of everyone surviving. It's really good. Sky getting the all out for this one. In terms of 100 thieves, it is 2 4 on top of everything. So because they buy light armor and because they plant it, should be able to go for this if they want to. Looks like they're giving it to him, but then also the challenge. We'll see approach here. MW Seekers online. Austin has an ult too. This is in a really risky round to go for glass cannon up. Yeah. With the thrash online and also a light buy coming out for or actually they're forcing Wait, full. Thrashing. But a couple of stingers too. That's one where there's gonna be movement on the side of a hundred thieves. Yeah, that's just a lot of info. We had the recon the as well down there investing a lot into this. Holy hell. And, and we have the drone over towards long. They cleared everything. This is a nice sight here. We have no ults to retake this. Where the hell is that kill? What the hell is MW0 done? Oh, they called to flood the site? But why? I couldn't tell you the last time I saw a mosh pit kill by itself. I mean, every team has abandoned the gecko in, in I mean, there was cases. a lot of people here. But yeah, that, that right there is them looking to flood. They popped the Seekers before they even got on the site, given the fact that the Thrash was used by Asuna. And the interesting thing, too, he didn't re-pick it up. I mean, because yeah, he that was one backfired orbs. a little bit. 100 Thieves really need Something this round. Is, if they got to save this as well, so it back goes up, back their way. 3,000 on top of this. Orbs that you collect. So back up to the three, Gecko's two. looking alright at the moment. But again, always looks around right attack. Three, two, um, I do remember up. seeing some of the stuff they had on defense, and it didn't look too bad. No challenge, no real threat of losing it this time around. There's some things here that Fury have to be. I mean, I, I would Can expect they to take aim after this a free every single time. I mean, yeah, there's nothing to punish them. Man. Side. It's absolutely not what you want to do. Like all, all that happens did is, did say that all that happens is they get info that you've beaten their wall, but it's like the only way they can Look, punish a main with this comp is uh, with bodies. As he went in that smoke, that it was mosh pitted, and he didn't have time to back out while he realized that's tough. Surprise! 
Light armor for and the DJ problem for 100 Thieves is, I guess, not a problem for 100 Thieves, sorry, the problem for Furia is, I guess, normally they've been okay at holding the sights because you can have this wall, but it felt, oh, sorry, Chad, punch the mic again. This op holding is very important. Bang decides to go close here in case they're long to make the sound of the TP. That's why he's doing that. The closer you are, the uh, more chance you have of them hearing it. So wanting to fake they're just TPing across. And there's no flank presence this time. That was how Fury retook B in the last. It's a very hard round for Fury to win, especially with only one smoke. have gotten a plant down pretty much every single round again. Similar to Fracture. And this time they're winning on these post plants. Asuna has found the timing. He has found the timing. He has found the kill. <laughs> is he going to get out? Oh, look at Asuna. He's actually going into spawn from C-Link. Something that Digizin might not expect and he hasn't crossed yet. There might be a... Oh my goodness, this battle. He's gonna die here. Standing ahead. Very well, May. TG's holding that angle though. That's tough for Austin. I bet it's done yeah. anyway. Really, really nice. You are absolutely right. That off gone. 2 4. Asuna can, has so many options there. He could try to jiggle him and force him to take a shot they and then fall into dirt. Potentially do a buy and one person would take a hit. both those options. The fact that they're able to recover some of these rounds is so nice. I love this Hunter's Fury. Yeah, they look really prepped to the moment, Hunter's Fury. was taking that B site and allows him to take that fight. It's been looking nice. Further. And there's the timeout. I was really hoping that was last round from Fury. Yeah, a round off schedule, maybe. And now they're on a light buy, and they've already, like, gone be below my expectations on this defensive side. I think one of the things that you saw there that was so difficult to deal with is. Yeah, I mean, 100 Thieves was able to apply pressure into Garage to help on the flank from Asuna that we saw, but also Fury had no controllers alive in okay. attempting to make that retake happen. And that's just so difficult to do, right? When you aren't able to deny vision from Garage um, or from Window. Or the land sounds like just not as good, so Jamer. It's not, like, it's not like it's not like reliable enough to be able to Speaking hear it. Formulas too, up to this the point, in ears it's, aren't as good, and then you have white noise, you have crowd as well. So it's like you can't. Team in the league can't but really consistently spam the tower and garage you can some rounds it's and people do for go for it but for Fury, you can just move game. it a little bit and it's and never like crazy consistent how has that switched light by that you mentioned two bulldogs from his yeah so light by goes in cryo has a backup gun for his knives Money's really good at the Honestly, moment for 100 I'm Thieves and could get even better with this one. Thinking, this is, this is a round where uh, Fury would love Thieves in to go it, huge it with this like one. 100 Thieves is rolling right now. And if they Similar thing for 100 Thieves, just doing soon. the recon at the beginning. But they They're tucked into this. I like this. They've dodged the, the recon a little bit. He, he might have a timing if he wanted to go aggro. Mizen. Both blades online here. Both jets waiting for the moment to strike. Concealed right now. This honestly could work. Story. There's no recon for a bit. Shock dart intended to clear out some of the pilgrim. You get spotted by the shark. Oh. <laughs> That's incredible. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, they just didn't consider the shark there. They didn't consider the thrash. Austin's not able to recover it, and they're running into Mazin, though. He didn't check it. Whoa. Oh, Damn, drive by. It's crazy that Cryo's like already looking at him. There. Yeah. Very well handled. And another Here. situation where 100 Thieves. The wingman plant. All right, we're, fo we're focused on the kills. Oof. Now switch over, show us wingman. No, we missed it for the man. Okay, really nicely done. Two orbs. Two orbs back yeah. to his ult as well. <laughs> good thing for 100 Thieves. The game's keeping so many people alive. Money's out of control. That a really good half at the moment. Three round lead for 100 Thieves. And, you know, the, we thought one of the win conditions in that round perhaps would have been Furia. Or, excuse me, DG for Furia. Finding value with the knives instantly stopped. And then it was just, I mean, it was effortless yeah. seemingly the rest of the way. I mean, look at that. How does it go up? <laughs> that thing is a not only a land shark, but it got hops too. They put him in the NBA. What do they do yeah, I think here? it could be pretty hard to, uh, pretty hard for that pecan. There's nothing. There's no, nothing different. Yeah, it's the exact same stuff. 
that they've tried all map. They have more players here on the B site than they have had at all times. Kind of putting the Killjoy Util on C. But it it's one of the first times where they've had good info the towards A though. The Viper wall is all the same and Digi Zin and How long that last? paired up at A again. But they have a lot of retake tools here this time. Khalil getting an opener. And he gets out but again, nothing. Went, well, the last stat that you mentioned, which was a couple of rounds ago, mind you, but they were 5-1 and one in these opening duels. Yeah, I mean, 100 Thieves just continue to get on site and play really good against the flood attempts. Yeah, they have a really so good far. read into this Finally, round. Though, there's, there's, there's those ults. So the situation has changed slightly here in round 8. They're going to get on the site. They're going to get a plant down. But they're actually working the map too, which is so good. Crowd's already in a position to go fight against that lockdown, to go fight ahead of the reckoning while they are flooding. Have a lot of ults, so maybe that was the maybe that was the tell. That a lot of the time when they have these ults, oh, that they like to. Oh, oh boy. Oh, and those tools gone now. They, they like can't to play retake. Back. So well played. Where is that ult going? It's a fake ult. He's just going down. Here we go. Long. It's going to be a lot of spam. And they're worried about there's somebody being in spawn right now. We got a so cove as well, though. You have to respect the possibility of it. They're gonna get all flashed here with the. I believe it. Dark coming in too. It just gets right. so many. But they're both top. They're not in a place cove where they can spam. Cove goes in. Here comes the defuse. A one for one. The cove providing cover, and Mazine's gonna get the defuse. That all lynches on. Yeah, it's nicely handled. I still like that 100 feet had a read into this. Looks like they've done a lot of research on on how Fury like to play it. Again, we said there's a lot of demos out there. It's looking like when they had these alts, sorry, when they have these alts, they like to play retake on C. Maybe it's the harbor alt. So well played from Fury, and the fact that they keep quite a few alive allows for so much. And this was pretty much this was like the set this is what they wanted to do from the get-go right it wasn't like there was any mid rounding or anything like that this was just set they wanted to break the killjoy util here here and here and then just end up over towards here no matter where the killjoy util was push over towards a like McCann said earlier there's nothing to really punish a main with this comp so a lot of times you can get control of a for free and there's just big question marks Korea. He's fucking up, Meryl. Yep. Got the dash ready to go. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Somehow stays Five alive. HP. MW can heal him up, so not the end of the world, but that definitely could have costed him his life. It certainly cost him all the armor he had. MW alone on Oh, the flash was incredible. He's flashed. Spots two now. Dancing around trying to isolate the fights. There's still pressure coming in from that area of the map, and MW gets them both. Oh. on the train and the short One bullet. Three. 1v2 left, 54 HP. Oh my god, nice try from him. I really don't, really well done from Fury as well, though. What are those peaks from Their actual A hold here was pretty cool. A lot of heavy rotates as well with this one. Right into the, the wall, essentially, and still get the spam down. <laughs> even? The it's relatively so well. even. Maybe a little bit of attack and if you default right. Now. And they didn't even need to use that lockdown. Credit to MW for staying alive so long in that situation. It kind of differs a lot because teams can. The there's a lot that you have to practice on it, whether it's retakes and stuff. So. Yeah. In that pocket, very well done. And with Furia winning the last two rounds, Hundred Thieves call a timeout. Still hanging on to a lead, a one-round lead, but a lead at that. You could have seen that round go completely differently if Digizen dies there. Do that miss dash. But I, I do think they're 100 Thieves. They go for that same A execute, and it, it's still like nothing missed or anything like that. The execute was fine. But what Fury were able to do is spread out and stop and, uh, sorry, funnel the players to be timed differently, right? MW down short. They haven't cleared that all the way. That mosh pit that we saw get value in that smoke prior basically goes off with no stopping power at all now that the Fury players yeah, are trying to great. spawn we actually had the thing that i really like as well like obviously so everything we see from him is great um i watched some of the com videos from 100 thieves and then yeah, com his comms are really good as well so it looks like uh yeah i rate him pretty highly stellar with the lockdown I mean, he's too. great and the opera dg pit from qc cad he hasn't played up here yet now, mind you, there hasn't been a ton of mid exploration. From yeah, actually, it was pretty decent, but can I do remember? I'm thinking there's mid exploration coming from Furia right now. Yeah. With MW's position, cascade down short. It's misdirection for this push down. 
They drop the turret, they hear the up, and Cryo swings it just the right time, but MW's oh. ready for it. He's okay with another. Looks like that oh, almost hit. That it's a nice change up from uh, Fury. With the spike tried to go for a hero play there for a second, but thinks better of it. I love that QCK just repositions, and he makes fake footsteps in the back plat. Gets followed up on, though, as he gets That's all the way off site. <laughs> Fury and Mazin calling him off the IGL. Austin is finding a gap with that. He has the spike. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're absolutely I right. I think he might send the wingman back and fight forward. Yeah, but he's running out of time to do it. If that's what he wants to do, he's getting real exploratory and real bold on this. And there you see why. Wow. That spike, Wings. You should run. Oh, God. They, do they want to double all? The amount of space this is buying right now. Looking like they might want to double all. And remember, this is keeping Khalil off of using that lockdown on themselves. So far back. They're oh, still yeah. just now halfway Monster across the map. Second shark out. But it doesn't go towards DG's way. Oh! That was gross. He was not looking that way. This is a oh, fun dude garage. gonna get wrecked. There's two left on the side of 100 Thieves, and that's just one now. Austin a gooping one. Oh my gosh! Holy hell. Disaster averted. <laughs> he makes some of these rounds look doable. crumbling down if he had hit that. <laughs> Um, nice hand from Furia. I like this. That I like the idea. So close to being insane from Asuna, and for him to also have basically every single major impact in yeah, that I round. That they were most Outside likely garage windows old, going all the way bottom middle. You know, just an ability used. And remember, that was a round where they actually lost two right off rip because MW walked down middle. <laughs> Carlos Hart. Just yeah, clenching the heart. <laughs> Oh, Redo, what's up, dude? Thank you so much, talking. mate. Two months in the slug club. Thank you for your prime on me. Appreciate your support, mate. Thank you very much. Viper's pitting garage. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. He still get the one? yeah, disrespect. Disrespect in the uh, molly. Right you can do it. Especially with Jet. The middle of the molly. The whole point of that lockdown. I wonder if that's going to force them to... No, they've committed to the plan. You they've the committed to the sign up. They have to continue pushing. And Austin just gets up a little bit too far. They broke the lockdown. Oh. Cryo's running back into it, but there's too much chaos. Yeah, way Damn, too Fury much. really starting again, to get grips of it now. Fury have recovered this half. I mean, this looked like 100 Thieves could have run away with it. And again, this is, to me, a defensive-sided comp. The game against NRG was not so defensive-sided, but I think that's because it's Last finesse on that side. Right. It was still 6-6 six, six at halftime, yeah. And, and have, Fury the, still ended up winning that game on the attack. The gecko. Mm -hmm. We've seen some rough attack sides from Fury on this map, but um, also against some of the best Haven I'm Kiznat. Thank you so much, mate. Chat, new member of the NRG Slug Club as well. Welcome in with with the prime. Thank you so much, mate. Chat, you know too. Let's get some spam going for the new member. Appreciate it. And let's get some slug approves in for logic. And heavy lean towards C. <laughs> logic. You're a QT. Thank you so much, mate. Instantly. Welcome into the slug club. Thank you for that. Not to use it here. The jet. You can't hold the jet. Yeah. Actually, a nice one for me. I like that. that is. <laughs> Throwing that one in every so often. Trying to find a, so a sight line. Okay. That was the attack side smoking themselves off right there. So they are looking to threaten a seat. Fong as well. Fong 177 with the prime. Thank you so much, mate. Three months in the slug. I appreciate you. Thank you, dude. Thank you for all these subs, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the primes. And look at MW. He just went through that smoke. So he is recognized. Yeah, this right here gives them a lot of info and they can three person stack A with the kill joint. Oh, my. Oh, that's one way of dealing with that. But there's just a little bit too much chaos. Derek finding one with the ult. Cryo finding another. Now they push their way up. Khalil keeping them back with two massive Holy kills. Holy hell, this was fast. There were four MW people on joining the on the side. Things, and he's heard. He's spotted. And he's hey, not too bad. He goes 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> <laughs> a 6-6 six, six half. Surely we're going to take a look at the end of that round one more time. Asuna had his way with what Furio were throwing in there. Yeah, I mean, he's been so good. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, thinking back to that, almost clutch, dude. Look at the amount of mollies on the site right now. Kill's just running through his own mollies, by the way. And that was one of the first times that you had that Killjoy set up on that site.
Before we get to the second half, let's hear from Furious Coach Carlisle and what his mindset is coming into the final weeks of the split. Então, os próximos jogos para a gente são super importantes, né? Porque são partidas de playoffs, basicamente. E tudo depende só da gente. Então, quando depende só da gente, é muito mais fácil. Então, é a gente ir conseguir fazer um bom trabalho, se preparar bastante para a gente tanto fazer bons jogos, quanto a gente se preparar bastante para os playoffs. Eu ainda digo Fury, mas, honestamente, se eles têm algumas coisas boas para o Gecko na defesa, então, talvez. Então, é usar toda essa reta final aí para a preparação momentum. e focar apenas nisso e não em resultado. É bastante open at the moment with 6 6 but I still think Fury have the advantage. It's interesting to get to listen to Carlisle talk, which, by the way, is so nice to have him on site finally, getting past Visa issues, joining us here in LA. But it's interesting to hear him talk about a couple of ways that he's viewing the end of the season because yeah. he considers them all like playoff matches where he has to keep control in his team's hands, but he's also considering this last lap, as he said, as a way to refine things and better the team and prepare for what's to come. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he came late, uh, he has to be able to instill that sense from Furia. They're definitely a team who's looking to make a run towards Tokyo. Definitely a team who has that opportunity. We're sending three teams out of the America's League. And they still haven't even guaranteed playoffs. That's why it is kind of like a playoff for, for or a match for him. They have to win one out of the next two. Hoping to have done it here in week seven. And 100 Thieves, we're in already. Must win scenarios for them. They need both wins to stay alive. In these last two weeks. With the crowd behind him, they find themselves just a couple of rounds away from checking off the first box, getting past Furia, and then being able to turn their attention towards what next week has to hold, but they're not quite done yet. They've got to be able to close this out. Again, on a side where Furia have looked spotty, but they did take down NRG on this half just last week. You also have to think about 100 Thieves in the sense of the entire season. I mentioned how they needed a win out of the basically top four teams in the league in all the last four matches that they played. And here, they're looking to do just that against Furia. Uh, Miao Catra was sub, dude. Thank you very much. Two they've months in the Star Club. Again, improving. thank you for using the Prime. This is definitely another notch up thank for you, me. Thank you, mate. So far in this series. But can they actually peak at the right um, time? In terms of pistols, it's still 4-1. Not only to qualify for playoffs, but he's been great at pistols. What is this one? And birth. <laughs> they were pinging for a different recon. That's so interesting. Straight up C Since fake Brazil. at the moment. They put a lot of put a lot of stuff into this. And he's by himself, and literally Ooh. almost everyone except for Stellar is on C, trying to deal I mean, with That's DG. a lot of info. There's three people here, so they can absolutely send it. But the thing is, it. there's still the killjoy you still here. They know the flank is popped now, or the fake is popped, and that spike down spike long. There's down so down much time now, bought just by Stellar alone. Stellar did great. And there's a triple flank. He managed that to kill the spike over towards back. long. They don't know this is coming. Oh, the one benefit is maybe. In the hands Three person push behind as well. A little bit further up. He has info that there's no steps, no footsteps being made in spawn, which might end up getting them the info that they're playing long. Can't use that yet. Well, oh, my oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dropping his utility. Clears out. Dizzy. The swing out. And even in the face of the alarm bot, even in the face of the vulnerability, Damn, one. Gets two, and that's five one and five in terms of pistols. In terms of this map, two and zero. Oh. Five out of six pistols. For the hundred thieves fans, it's awesome, and they are just converting every single one of those super important rounds. Fury, I have to dig deep. It isn't that stomp that we saw in Fracture, but it is definitely not the same Fury that we saw in these last two maps that we saw last week against NRG. Big. Felt like happen. last week they stepped up it in high gear. Digi Zin was a monster. He was a beast on Pearl. But it's definitely been a lot slower since he had to play that Neon. Furia plays such a drastically different right. style on Just, so uh, many maps. FPX spy for this one. We talk a lot about a styles for certain teams. Furia's gonna be a rifle in the next round. Heavy control, as long as they keep two alive. Walls, it's a good like round. Whoa. Bangles for a double kill on DG and Khalil. Now the three pistols that remain for Fury are going to go towards B. With very little to go in front of them. Enemy down. 
there because I'm going to farm up the last couple. And he does. A flawless round for him to Yeah, do. very, very nice. Just one bullet hit. It's a good amount of money for this. Gonna have a very good bonus as well. Free rifles. Real second half begins. Two specters. Preventing things like ecos though, so key. Having clean anti ecos. So and key. they're going up against a lot of light armors. To keep Fury and smother them out of this game. Looks like we're heading towards a fast C hit right now. Five players from Fury are grouped up down C long, and there's Asna and there's Bang to receive. Wall out late. Cascade to get him all the way up. Flash out. TG's going in. In the cloud burst. Backslide is clear. They've oh. done everything well except for being able to clear Bang! And he's rewarded for his persistence. Asuna stays though, so it's a trade. QCK 10 HP though. It's a trade. And I think Asuna did the damage right. so he can come. You still have some utility from Derek, you still have some from Bang, but. Shock! QCK is really low, he's gone though. Up towards Logan, they're getting a full heal right now. It's a nice heal, yeah. This is gonna be really difficult to find your way out. No right. way he got both. Bazine attempting to hold the line with two of his own. Standing. And it falls down to one. Falls down to Khalil. Uh oh. Good luck with the Get smoke out here. They try to swing at the exact same time. Bang oh my goodness. Back into the angle, back into the fight. He's been a hero for them so many times before. He's closed the gap. He's so far up. Fake teleport still holding this angle, and Khalil feeling the pressure. Banks got to go fast. Time running low. And nicely and done from Khalil. Really well played from him. Good news for 100 Thieves is that was insanely Bang close to this next round. <laughs> thought I might have. It's gonna be a big swing around. Created that Leviathan clutch because I saw him pull out his classic and close the distance after he did get some damage done. Fury insta anti bonus conversion. Even though I think Hunter Thieves did a pretty good job here at giving Bang some space in that smoke, not le not letting himself fall, and then getting a kill and still able to fall. Is Asuna the longest standing player in a team? To help him out. Tier one. Definitely hurts. Uh, Soulcast is more. There's someone above Soulcast. I can't remember who it is. Soulcast is second, Crying and there's the someone else round. who's been and in a team for a long time. I can't remember who doing that the is. Cascade all the way up, see long, a flash also added into that. Yeah, along with the Viper wall, too. Makes it look like a C hit right off rip, but Bang has cleared that out, and he's walking all the way down. What a pick! Buster, now they all joined Fnatic so after Liquid. Reckoning. What a shift! Now look, Cryo, yeah, Cryo's up! He went into the Reckoning, danced around the Wisps, and still gets the kill. It's the classic round from them. Oh, that's massive. Keep an eye on the yep. omen timing here. MW had to get off. And that's just gonna buy more time for Andrew Deeves to tee off on what Fury have. MW still trying to get the spike down. He's able to take care of one. A deep flash, but a 1v3 and 6 HP. Four bullets, two in the off in the hands of Wolf. The off no longer in the hands of Cryo. He can get off now, if he wants to. Where does he go with 35 seconds left? He's got to make a choice, and he's oh, got to okay. do it quickly. Nice round to get the off as well. Get to nine. In terms of this, this it is straight up 1-9, right? Furia. It's the best possible now, best possible outcome down, for 100 Thieves, really. All of a sudden, 100 Thieves can make so many inferences. They win around, they insta reset them, 1-9. It's going to be a really a low buy, like oh, real, real low buy. You can basically lose the Nico. That is gross, you're right. And MW, unfortunately. Thank you so much as well. Eight months it's with your prime. Rough. Thank you as well. Given that Appreciate all the support. You need to. You need to find 
Something like they found on Pearl. Were you able to crack and get a thrifty round win? Looks like QCK is going to throw that seawall again. And the conditioning is okay with this wall. Especially with the harbor, you can do so much. But oftentimes, when you go for double controller, you get that wall down short. Relying on this over Heat and over. Rounds. Chance for 100 thieves to get this money good because it's not great. The pace does not stop. Well, the Spanish would be incredible. Molly's good. Paranoia. And hit a couple. Asuna, is he going aggressive? Yeah, he is. With the shorty oh dear. Uh oh. They've gotten a little bit more than he wanted. Uh oh, Derek Slow. Here in the high tide. 36 HP and he gets some both. Doesn't matter. It's just Mazine now. What the hell? Okay. Uh, wasn't super clean though, so close one. the money that we're talking about Definitely doesn't get a blow up. So that's the good news for Fiora, and they kept this but one. Hundred Thieves does get to ten. Kept we this one pretty that. close. And the pace does not stop. This was so, something I was saying in the middle of that round. I Fury has not really gone for a slow round so far. It's either fast towards B or fast towards C, and they really haven't explored even A. Outside of that one round where you had that insane flank come in from three players of 100 Thieves. I think that was back on the pistol even. Look how close were these are. Uh, Same Viper wall going up from TCK. We're close to having a but lot of orbs. Ahead of it. And he still has the op. Kills and orbs are pretty important in this one. I tied instantly for short. Oh my god. Thrash coming oh my god, we haven't moved the oh, It's gonna get one, but is there a follow up? That Trailblazer was so good to provide cover. Pryor just got a kill on long two. QCK is gone. And somehow, some way, Hunter Thieves have just hung on. What to a short. mad round. DG managed to preserve his life. Oh no. Austin of Fallen. There's just three individual jewels just going off. There's a fight over towards here, fight over towards here, fight here. Just just everyone jewel well. strat. Thanks, ulting out. Where is he going? On to B. Oh, oh God. he just cancelled. Realizing how dangerous his position was. Given that we just had Khalil in mid fighting against Cryo. I mean, what a chaotic opening to the round. But Heal Furious settled. Out of healing. And on the other side of the chaos, they emerge with the numbers advantage and the spike in hand. And importantly, too, Cryo settles on Seaside rather than actually leaving his initial position. Stellar with no util to actually challenge. He has a nano swarm. He might be able to get some damage done on the spike, but I think he wants to save that for later on. That's an interesting spam. Trying to actually challenge Digis in who updrafted on that long box. Just forced to sit back and wait. I yeah, don't know they, that they're kind of low on HP. Here. You see, Cryo and Bang are both playing real far back. Yeah. Stellar may be looking for an exit, but yeah, they're cutting their losses. It makes sense. Like we said in the round before, Fury did so much damage, the money just wasn't building that up. Entire so they want to have Fury another had, buy into this one. It didn't found more value. The fact that they throw that high tide so it's a great round short. for Fury, though. 3,000 on and top of that. And because Asuna goes for that gecko ult. And, and then in terms of so this, 1,000 so for these. And all and of a sudden, one there's nobody please. able to run down short with the Trailblazer that MW throws out. Despite that... 100 Thieves still lose two in that instance. Even though Asuna had the chance to get out, he gets spammed through the smoke. And then also you had this long peak. Where was he? I think it was Mazin who made that shot. Is he long or short? If he's short, he can't yeah, feel comfortable. Right. He was long. But this goes back to something Honestly. you were saying all the way back in map one, Ball, and it's how Furia seemed to thrive and, and emerge victorious and comfortable in those chaotic situations. They just scrap so well. I'm out from 100 Thieves. Last time out for either side. Yeah. So final and chances for the coaches to get. It makes sense in this because game. If, we go to if they lose this one, the money's kind of out of control for Fury and they have the eco, twice. and then it's just uh, back Derek in Fury's hands. In there is definitely ill advised. But he's just trying to get info before his dart comes back up. And we are in territory now where 100 Thieves. Not only are we within two, but their economy is starting to get low. That bank that they were building up after winning that pistol. And then winning, winning the round, the fourth round in this half. Starting to go away. But they are opting for light armor. As a strategy overall. So they have plenty of staying power in comparison to the Furious side. I think going back to even the previous map, this is 
now, I believe every single timeout, if I'm not mistaken, in these last two maps has that's been called by Hunter Thieves has been called while they're in the lead. Yeah, they're ahead of things, and I think that's a, a bit of a testament to how, my, how Mike's wants to play this situation out. Hang Damn. on to the lead, control the chaos, Slot keep the team as subtle as possible. Close. Make sure you're closing this out. So, yeah, these last two maps, Hunter Thieves has been in control the entire time. Such a shift from that first one. I was expecting here, Furia, to start shifting things up with their default util. Perfect opportunity to do it. Either way, actually, Light Armor purchased oh boy. for a lot of these Fury members. Sticking with it, and Cryo misses the shot for what feels like the first time on those early picks. Oh my They're goodness. They're to punish for the Reckoning. Gonna scale back, but the power noise from Bang is great. He's TPing in the open, hello? Oh gosh. He gets around the corner and makes it anyways. How does he stay alive through This wall's falling soon. Can they capitalize on Cryo's early miss? No. Choosing to use the blades. Taking a little bit of damage here. No <laughs> way, the show is here. Shorty Asuna playing from backside, finding one, spamming into the smoke, looking for a second. But it's, he falls, and it's now just Kinda Derek, low, though. 17 and 19. The shocks might be the one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh God. My 8 and 19 now. And MW could have died from that one. He's actually going for a fast flank, though. Derek has a lot of utility, oh. but he's caught reloading. I tell you what, really he nice uh, instant decision from MW Zero. This is insane. That resets their Unreal. economy, right? Well, not resets, but gives them 2-4. And they can't buy into it, so they got to eco. Another 4v5 for Furia, which is hilarious, because in this game, that script has shifted. It's been 100 Thieves who's been really good in these That's situations. That's another there. Mm. Problem is, he only saw one. These moments, we've seen a lot of he only saw one. He's too far away for land sound, so he has no idea about the second. The Maybe the comms were called in terms of low HP. He was in the corner anyway. They were going to potentially peek him. I don't think it was too bad. What the hell is that? A judge for Asuna who's playing into short. He's not just playing into short. He's taking some space with it too. Wait. Oh, God. Problem is, if he goes close here, they can see in this angle. And that judge is actually short-barreled, so... So when you get into that, I'm pretty sure you have to look that. into the wall and then you're Other fine. Corners, Otherwise, you your shoulder shows. You I'm actually not 100, percent but I think that's right. Run through in front of you. In this case, they were waiting for the smoke to fall. Right now, we're looking at you have, to, you have to look at the wall and you have to not crouch. I think there's a chance you can still crouch. Oh my goodness. Fancy footwork from MW is going to preserve his life for now. That is an interesting choice on a force. Cryo with the Guardian. He's going to upgrade a weapon. Now has the Phantom. DG on the swing. Jet first jet. Who's the first to go? The lockdown's going to detain them all. I mean, DG's just so aggressive. Getting the best Two of Two people there. along that have to kind of go. He's right, it's detained. Oh. He's dead. Wait, he can pick up the gun and duel them long? Oh, I was going to draw them long. I mean, there's pressure there anyway. He didn't pick up the real weapon. Oh, I thought he picked up the Phantom either way. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. That's a massive round. Opened by the sheriff shot from Stellar. That's just ridiculous. And I actually have to credit Derek. I was I was wondering why he went for that ult. But it was all because Cry was alive down short. So he's causing chaos for him to be able to sow it. 100 Thieves, a perfect timed eco round win. And despite the early kills, too, where it felt like Fury was bringing it back in. Now we're faced with one round off of match point for 100 Thieves. Fury still have a buy, a bunch of ults. That Viper's Pit, I feel like we haven't seen all game. We only saw it once on that defensive side. Starting to see some of the smokes come out from Bang towards A. The Trailblazers are intended to be the first line of defense. Lockdown invested. And remember, Derek used his solo last round, so it's not able to use to break. But he's going to go for a kill as this goes oh, he out. Oh, in front of it. Yeah, it. This is definitely a problem with this the lockdown, comp. They, they can the never consistently do this. You just have to practice to get your wall good, good damage. He's getting healed up right now, but pissed um, down. Yes, he's still alive. Harbor as well. This is so this is a brutal tool to use in combination with this. is a very hard retake, even though there's four. Heaven, Especially when the Harbor comes in. Oh, they kill the Viper. 
they crumble all over the place, but MW from graffiti tried making something happen. It's just Mazine now. Damn. That's impressive. Okay, they get to 12. Uh, their, their money can't be good. It must be a pretty, it must be a relatively bad low buy. He's getting stunned and still avoiding those shots. Say low buy, force buy. Yeah, look at these two. Every single time we see a big ult used out of the other side, out of Fury, 100 Thieves makes the perfect decision. There, the three drop out of heaven is just so beautiful because there's a gap in that Viper's pit on the drop side. And it's so fast in making right, that three decision. chances. DG Zen has his knives. It's prepared, and it's not too bad. We must be missing Vipers something, well right? Cove, that's it. It's not too bad. All down to this for Blades for DG. Fish all up for Asana. Recon goes in, doesn't get shot, so they know that they're taking aim in control. You look to your Bang takes a bit of a risk pushing push through their the smoke, but gets full info, so they can heavier stack up towards this A if they want out. to. 100 thieves abusing the hell out of heaven it just That's can't get smoked he's in, he's like it, too. the amount that 100 thieves have been playing heaven against this comp is crazy like this is the only thing that can happen this wall and even then sometimes you see it before, round before it has a gap and it's just a threat just enough to draw out some of the utility that we see the dizzy the shock darts everything meanwhile bang is going to be on this late flank a flank that gck is intended to be covering by holding mid he's going to get behind him unnoticed Check How middle. Oh my god. I mean, he might actually find it. Oh, oh my god. Looks like he this is crazy. Kill the tower up, right? Derek, the first to fall. Yeah. Bang just flashed down short, so they know his position now. Second wall used. They're not actually looking at him. Wait, yeah, they think it came from know. somewhere else. Oh Bang's got two, right? Oh my goodness. That he's got two. Then he shot the turret. I'm so confused. Stellar, having to clutch this out. The chaotic round that it's been to tap, daring the swing, and he's looking the wrong way. Okay, three chances down to two. Round. What a weird round. So Omen flashed from behind, and they had no the idea, and play. the turret was also shot, and they had no idea. I can't believe how both of those got insane value, especially after Bank flashed already. I thought for sure they were going to turn around. Both of them finding two Ks. But That's it's crazy. I mean, both sides, you can see it. There's so much chaos happening to hold the site and to take the site on the front lines. That you have to keep your attention on the fort. You have to. And now 100 Thieves down to their light by. Oh. Light by, you got the hero judge two, though, who's this? Singers. Okay. Oh, and the hero judge and garage and they're going over towards right garage. We're playing these last two regulation rounds. Dogs in. No I need to shoot this. To oh god. Away from the and that could secure things. They're just in not waiting for that dog to clear. Might lose them the game here. Got an extra few bullets there when I got that kill. But it's another 4v5 for Furia. They're gonna pick up a gun off of that too, don't forget. It might be late in the round, but the A side is empty right now. They've been so good in these retake situations, despite not having a breach, despite only having a gecko. There's a little gap for you to swing out behind. Really, Stella on gets the upgrade. They have the a good plant here. Water go for a retake. Omen right flash over. So and he finds a little bit. Oh, no, actually, got... no damage found. I mean, they could potentially they have a double molly though. Double molly for spawn. Just one rifle, and it's in the hands of Stellar, who again still one point away from that lockdown. They comboed it well, but the viper molly stopped everything. Himself, oh, bang ults sure over towards long. Cove. That's so cool for Mazin. But does he dare challenge it? That's it. That's the rifle. Is there anyone to fill in to grab it? No, there's not. Turret's getting involved as well. Holy hell. Three chances. It was just a low buy though. Three chances down to the one last chance for 100 thieves. Wow. What a crazy map. Playoffs hanging in the so, balance for 100 thieves. I don't mind it too much. They're just playing at heaven a lot because they can't they smoke it. I think it's fine. It, it's more it just a stri straight up game plan. I don't game. think it's like a. Furia. But I think it's like how they normally right play it. It's a lot of priority in heaven. And I have to credit Mazin again. He's just playing inside of that cove. It's such a cool idea. I think they probably play a little bit different against normal comps. down the pace a single time. Cry once again the off. Remember, we saw Digizin just disrespect that Molly last time when he played that same angle. This time, Cryo does not.
Because yeah, he gets flashed too. And he has no armor. They double cascaded in long. Two people shot. It's the second time they do Dog that spots. They spot both, I think. Oh. Trying to section it off. Derek's Maybe. DG's so far up by himself. Once again. Oh my god. DG's in. What the hell are you doing? Like oh, it hard. didn't spot both. I only thought there was one hand. That's all. Oh. That's a massive kill. Oh my goodness. Mazine having to delay for just a moment, not able to play oh, in the code. Gonna go. it's clear. Oh, now it's clear. Yeah, dude. This comp cannot just smoke heaven Furia. consistently. If There's you delay. Man, I love a hundred fees game plan against How this. It's been great. This? They wait out the lockdown. Such priority over towards heaven. Doubling up on short. Turret so out. tense. Turret watches it though. And the alarm bot watches the flank. Two hundred thieves have everything locked up. The turret finally oh. taking some value. TCK trying to push bang off. He's taking a lot of damage, but he steps in front of it just a little bit. There's a crossfire that was intended to be a swing. Damn, nicely done from a hundred fees. Fair play. Definitely the pistols helped them achieve this one, but it's a massive win. Massive win for them. Again, I love the game plan. I thought the heavy priority over towards heaven was really, really cool. They got so much value for it. And I love the respect they're showing too. Going out to meet Mike rather than the other way around. What a insane, insane series. They go down on the first map. It looks rough for them. A map that they have not played at all. Pearl, you can tell. But they still made it competitive. Then they destroy on Fracture, which feels like similar vibes from Fury where they don't feel practiced on it. And then Haven too. It's such a unique comp. Uh, pipped, but pipped, GG. Thank you so much, mate. Such a fun setup too for Thank you very much, dude. Good good. Welcome in. Thanks for using your prime on me as well. Chat, new member. Let's see a slug spam going. And I have to, again, one of the, one of the reasons why. The gecko, the gecko looked good. Those sorts of things.